Good day! In this video, we are going to try to solve the 2022 NTA Level 2 Question 2B Part 2. The part 1 had been done in the previous video and this is where it stopped. Okay? An extension of this probability tree is based on the statement given in the next part. Okay? So the question is, the probability that the student saved water was two times greater if they were concerned about water shortages than if they were not concerned. If they were concerned about water shortages, the probability is two times. If they are not concerned, it's only one time we represented by x. Similarly, if they are concerned about water shortages, it's two x, the probability, and they are not concerned, it's going to be half of it, which is x. Okay. The probability that the students say water was the same whether they are concerned about climate change or not. So, the overall probability that the student in this survey say water was 0 0.5632. So there are four possibilities that they save water. Here, 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 and here. So now to get the total probability for the first part, con concern about climate change, concern about water shortage and save water, you take 0 0.7 times 0 0.85 times 0.2 and that will be the first number. Similarly, if they want to save water here, they concerned about climate change, not concerned about water shortages, and they save water, the probability is 0 0.7 times 0 0.15 times x. So that will give you the probability there. And if they are not concerned about climate change, they are concerned about water shortages, and they save water, the probability is 0 0.3 times 0 0.55 times 2x. That gives us that probability there. And last but not least, if they are interested, I bring it a bit higher, okay? If they are in, not concerned about climate change, they are not concerned about water shortage, but they want to save water, the probability is 0 0.3 times 0 0.45 times x, and that's the probability. And they said the total probability they want to save water is 0 0.5632. So if you add all this up, they must be equal to 0 0.5632. So if you add them up together, okay, what you will get is 1.76x that is equal to 0 0.5632 and to solve x algebraically okay, i'm going to bring it up okay to solve x algebraically you just take 0 0.5632 divided by 1.76 and the answer is going to be 0 0.32 okay once we have done that we need to answer this part of the question. Find the probability that the student is not concerned about climate change. So here, not concerned about water shortage here, and do not try to save water. If x is 0 0.32, the question here will be 0 0.68 because they must add up to 1. Okay, so to calculate that probability, we just take 0 0.3, Multiply by 0 0.45, multiply by 0 0.68, put in your calculator, and the final answer is going to be 0 0.0918. If you can get it right, that will give an excellence in this paper. Great. Now we shall look at the second part, or the third part of the question. We shall read the question, okay? Okay, we'll bring it down again. The teacher used the finding of both surveys in from part A and part B on the previous pages. Okay, you need to refer back to the video. Part A was a, a survey on New Zealanders. Part B was a survey on the school. Okay, to claim that New Zealand school students are about twenty five percent less likely to save water in their home than the general population. Discuss the validity of this claim. Okay, re re referring back to the first part. Probability that safe water in New Zealand survey was 0 0.761. That was from part 1. Okay. Probability that safe water in the school survey, the answer was 0 0.5632. If we calculate the relative risk, we take this number divided by that number is 0 0.74. So probability of students saving water is 0 0.74 times more likely, so about 26% less likely chance. Okay. So this is about 25% and what mentioned here and so the claim that what the statement said that 
New Zealand school, just secondary school population about uh, about 25% less likely to save water in their home than the general population is actually valid and it is true. So if you can answer that, that is another excellent question. And the last two questions, the last question actually has two excellent questions. If you can get that, you get E8 in this paper. Hope you go through this paper again and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers everyone and have a good day.